case of Elizabeth Isherwood is a chilling reminder that death can strike anywhere, at any time. What should have been a relaxing holiday at a familiar resort turned into a tragic and gruelling final days for Elizabeth in a story that shocked North Wales and everybody who knew her. Elizabeth Isherwood, known to her family and friends as Mary, was a 60-year-old woman who resided in Wolverhampton, a city near Birmingham in the UK. She was a part-time care worker after her career as a police officer and was well liked by her many friends and family. Mary and her ex-husband Clive owned a holiday complex at Plas Talgarth Country Club but decided to sell their timeshare in early 2017. The couple, who met while working as police officers, divorced almost 30 years ago after Elizabeth came out as gay but remained good friends over the years. After selling their timeshare, the couple were both offered free vouchers for a final stay at the resort, which she was thrilled about and decided to use. She went for a drink with Clive the night before and asked if he wanted to come down, but he couldn't make it. Elizabeth went up to Plas Talgarth on Saturday the 23rd of September 2017. According to Clive, she would have usually gone with friends, but nobody could make it during that week, so she went alone. On the first day, she checked in, went for a swim, and decided to return to her room in the late evening. That night, it is believed that she woke up to use the bathroom in the early hours of Sunday the 24th when disaster struck. Unable to see, she mistook the bathroom door for an airing cupboard, which before she knew what was going on, closed behind her. Elizabeth tried to open the cupboard, but the handle fell off, which left her trapped in the dark, confined space. Alone and in the dark, Elizabeth began to panic. She banged continuously, and even though the banging was heard, residents believed it was due to maintenance work being done on the property. Realising no one could hear her, Elizabeth then broke off a copper pipe. This was used to try and open the cupboard, as there were scratch marks on the inside of the door. It was also used to try and break a hole in the air and cupboard's wall. Sadly, it turned out the copper pipe was a water pipe, which meant when she pulled it off, water sprayed down on her as a result. Elizabeth managed to make a hole in one of the walls, only to be met by brick. She then tried a wall on the opposite side, which she successfully broke through. Tragically, a picture hung on the other side of the wall, which made her think she wouldn't be able to get through. If she would have realised it was only a picture, she would have been able to escape. At this point, Elizabeth was absolutely exhausted. She didn't have the strength or energy to try another wall or keep banging. Her body temperature had risen to dangerously high levels due to the exercise, but when she stopped, she was drenched and hypothermia soon set in. It is believed Elizabeth died on the Monday, but her body wasn't found until a week later after hotel workers were investigating a leak coming from her room. An investigation was launched and found that hypothermia, accelerated by her being naked, locked in a cupboard and sprayed with water, was the cause of her death. Her death was recorded as a misadventure. A misadventure is a death caused by a person accidentally, while performing a legal act without an intent to harm. The coroner stated, the sheer bad luck the knob disintegrated while Mrs Isherwood was in the cupboard, although I can't say why she was there. Her son Craig also stated that they found out that on the Monday, a couple in a neighbouring apartment heard banging and thought that they would report it if it carried on after 5pm. Sadly, Elizabeth gave up on her attempt at 5.05pm, so they assumed that it had been maintenance workers who had finished for the day. Her son decided to sue McDonald Resorts. He claimed, My mother died in the most terrible circumstances you could imagine. The legal action is not about compensation, because how can you put a value on a life? It is about the fact that this never should have happened. I just want the company to admit they made a mistake in not checking the door, and make sure that this cannot happen to anyone else. Unfortunately, the last articles of this story were in 2018, and the results of Mr Isherwood's trial have not been made public. The case could have concluded, or it could be ongoing. If anyone knows more, please leave a comment and I will pin it to the top of the video. Thanks for watching.